So I'm literally filming this from Baltimore, but I did climb Mount Fuji with my friend about a couple weeks ago, I would say, and it was a really good experience. Um, in case you don't know, Japan, uh, Mount Fuji is like the highest mountain in Japan. It is a bucket list item for most people in Japan to climb it at one point in their life. I think it's uh, 3,776 meters or about 12 to 13,000 feet. And so most people take two days to climb it, um, which is usually like they cli start climbing like late afternoon or sometime in the afternoon to get to a hut that is like somewhere in the middle of the mountain and then spend the night there and then leave really, really early in the morning to um, watch, walk to the summit, hike to the summit and see the sunrise and then climb down. But we did it in one day because we didn't have the reservations or the time to do so. Um, which I wouldn't say is a good idea. I wouldn't recommend necessarily, but we did it anyways. Um, so yeah, so we got up at 4 a.m. And like, I, I was, we spent the night at my grandma's house, which is like about like an hour and a half, two hours from Mount Fuji. And then, um, yeah, we took the 5.30 a.m. train or something and then got to Mount Fuji and whatnot. And then we had to climb down before the last bus that left Mount Fuji. So I think we got to Mount Fuji around, um, I would say, 8 a.m. And then we the last bus left at 7 p.m. So we had to like leave before then or get down the mountain before then. And also one thing that's important to note is that people in Japan kind of cheat the system. Whereas we don't actually climb the entirety of like the 12,000 feet. We only climb like maybe half of that um, because obviously it's a lot more doable that way. And so you basically kind of start like, I think we started at 2,400 meters above sea level. And um, there are stations throughout the mountain. So there's like the fifth, like the first station, the second station, the third station. So they like have like rest stops throughout the mountain where they have like food and like a, like a mountain hut, like a place to stay, some sort of bathroom. Like we have all these like resources at every stop. Obviously the resources get a little bit like questionable the higher you go. But, you know, they have resources at every stop and, like, rest stops and stuff. And so I'll, like, probably take you through all those stops that we went through. So we started at the fifth stop, and then our goal is to get to the summit. Um, yeah, and then there's actually four routes um, in... Yeah, there's four routes in Mount Fuji. Um, we took the shortest one because we had the least amount of time. Um, I think it was called the Fujinomiya Trail. So that's, like, typically it takes around, like, six, no, four to seven hours, I think. To climb up and then half that like half half of how much time you took to climb up to climb down i think we took around six hours to climb up and then two or three hours to climb down i think um the thing about it though is that like we were really scared about altitudes like this because like the the reason why most people do it in two days is because you want to acclimate first before you climb because it's actually kind of it's actually quite dangerous um to climb without acclimating because you can get altitude sickness and obviously that was a very big concern for us we kind of just like um did it anyways because we were like oh we we're young but that's actually a really bad mindset a lot of people die on this mountain so that's a big warning um how you can prevent altitude sickness and what we did is we took it really seriously so we made sure to drink a lot of water make sure to do that if you're ever going to climb that Fuji or any other high mountain and also take it really slow like we could have probably done it in like three hours or something if we tried but it was like we wanted to make sure that we took rest at every rest stop and like rest for like half an hour at every rest stop so that we wouldn't get like we wouldn't go to climb up too fast and the elevation gain would hurt us and then we also made sure to breathe a lot and deeply so you can hear me probably like breathing a lot as the higher you get um because that's very important and what you do realize though is that i still ended up getting some like elements of mountain sickness like my head started hurting and stuff but that was like at the summit so at that point the only thing you can do is go down so like if you ever have mountain sickness um make sure to like notice the symptoms immediately and if you do just head down because there's nothing you can do about it to like i don't know treat it essentially besides going down the mountain or getting medication which is kind of hard when you're on a mountain so the best method is prevention um and that's what we did and we were able to handle it but yeah um i hope you enjoyed our video and oh and i apologize it's not very edited because i am on a new software on my dell computer which isn't very good and i don't know what the heck is going on <laughs>
we are on our on our train to Mount Fuji, but we ran to the station, so we're like super sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so bad because you were carrying a suitcase. I was carrying a suitcase, and we were running at the same time, and it was really hot, and I was wearing a fleece jacket, which I thankfully took off. I don't think I would have made it otherwise. Like I was about to pass out, this and you what, are too. This is what the cross country training was for. Yeah, all for the running with the suitcase and the three backpacks yeah. to the station, but we made it. <laughs> We made it six minutes early. Yeah, that's exactly. Okay. That's impressive. We are getting on the bus to go to Mount Fuji. Yas. Yeah. Okay. We are currently at the fifth station at Mount Fuji. I'm very happy. I know. It's good experience. I'm just glad. Like even if we don't make it to the top, this is oh, already. No, 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 we're gonna make it. Oh, we're gonna make it up, but like, <laughs> but even if we don't, we're I'm just saying. We're cross country runners. What do you mean we're not gonna make it? To but the it, it'd still be worth it, though. Yeah. It's very nice. You can see the clouds. It's crazy. I guess it's a lot of like clouds. Too. Yeah, why is Mount Fuji so green? Like, it's so weird. It's like black and green. Usually, like, it looks like I feel like the, the image inside is blue and white. But why is it so green? We are heading to the trailhead. We are just getting started. Yeah, <laughs> it's only gonna go up from here. Get it? Haha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're at the, <laughs> the vlog. We're at the sixth station. It's... Yeah. It's we're pretty. Yep, we're doing great. Look at that. Clouds okay. coming towards us. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> Hi! We are in the clouds for real, we're for real. In the clouds. Oh, this is That's crazy. So oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Damn. Don't okay. We are at the 7th station. 7th station. Yas. Well, this is the new one. There's actually two. So we're at the first 7th station. You mean like 8.58, I think, is when we started. 7th seventh, seventh station. Clouds. Do you think that's the road? Like the thing that we see there? We're at the... Oh. We're at the... <laughs> The old seventh stop. Oh wait, should I take off my hat? Cause university. No, you'll you'll be fine. Um, we're at we're basically halfway through our hike up. Obviously, there's a way down, but this is cute. It's nice. I'm very tired. Yeah, but, but I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, we have the energy. <laughs> we, we're we're making good time as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's really like surprising. Oh no. yeah, we're athletes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super athletes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we made it to the. Eighth stop, yeah. We made it to the eighth stop. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't do this. Dude, we're almost there. We have like an hour and a half left. <laughs> but like, oh. you see that? We see the end. Look at that. Hi. We're almost there. We're almost at the ninth station. It's like over there. Anyways, this is Ashta's form of rest. Quite interesting. It's, it's so satisfying. If you just try it, you know. You know, I don't understand. I, I will personally not participate, but that's okay. We're at the ninth station. We're almost fucking there. Almost there. Yeah, there's like not much of a view at this point. I don't know. Wait, is this fire? Oh my god. <laughs> It is fire. I can't really see it in the camera, but I cannot see a volcanic eruption. Please. I don't want to die. Damn, look at that. Can't really see shit. We made it to the 9.5 stuff. Okay, that's right. Doing good so far. We're almost there. We're really <laughs> almost there. Like, I mean. I think it's a rocky terrain, though. Yeah, it's just a little tiring. So, honestly, like, we're doing pretty yeah, look at that. You've come a long way, for sure. Slay. <laughs> We're at the final stretch. Almost there. Keep out. Keep 
yeah. <laughs> almost there. <sighs> okay. We're almost there. Damn. Yeah. Almost there. Oh. We made it to the top. We We're at the it. summit. Oh my god. Yeah. I've never been so proud of us. No, literally, like, yeah. this is this as is proud as I. Yeah, like, we are at the top. Like, nothing can hurt us and take us away from us. Like, we are here. Like, damn, look at us. I know, that view. Very nice. Literally just volcanic rock, but very nice. Yeah, this is the, the crater, the volcanic crater. Damn. Dap me up, bro! <laughs> How do you feel? I feel so amazing. <laughs> this is the best summer experience. This is literally like, I am so proud of us. Like, I just, like, okay. I did not believe in us for a little bit, but no. We, I'm oh. sorry! Yo, 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 yo. We talked about me being a little bit more of a pessimistic. Oh, but I in am pessimistic in this, in this particular <laughs> case. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. Surprised. It's so pretty too. It's so peaceful too. I really I like, like it, yeah. And this video, the mm -hmm. quality, so amazing. It is. This is what this is an iPhone 13. Oh, yeah. Right. See, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> we are heading down now. Ah. Oh, we're heading down. Look. Look at the clouds. And look at us. It's we're heading. Tired, our yep. Very tired. Heads yep. Our heads feet are hurting. pounding. With feet hurting. Um, but you know what? We're not really almost there, but like. In the we're grand scheme of things, the grand scheme of things, we're almost there. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, action! It's not about the first kiss. It's not about the first time. It's all about the first climb. Preach, the sister! Movie. Preach, sister! Now, close the video before I cringe at myself. <laughs> we're sliding. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Hello, we're Hi. Oh. We kinda wanna kill ourselves. It's it's been oh my god. We're not there yet. We have ten more minutes of hiking, but we're almost there and like oh my god. So head pounding, feet destroyed, knees breaking apart. I I cannot explain the pain I'm feeling right now. And it's so nice to sit down. Yeah. Holy shit, like oh I'm so done. This is our first like Official yeah, because this the, for the whole descent, we've been hiking for two and a half hours straight, and it's been pretty, it's been pretty rough, I would say, because like we were just worried that we wouldn't make the bus, but now we're like, pretty sure we're gonna make the bus. We have like an hour plus for a ten minute hike. We should be fine. All right. It's crazy that we're almost done. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. I feel like we're gonna pass out 100%. rather than be like, oh my god, we're just heading off. Just... I know, for real. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, we'll catch you back when we get oh, down. Bye. In our, oh fuck. We are in our final stretch. Yeah. Oh, everyone's falling. It's it's a great time. It really should be 10 minutes. Hopefully, we'll get there. Ho like hopefully we'll get there. Yep. Oh shit. Shit. Slide, slide, slide. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello guys. We are at the trailhead. Oh my god. Is that the trailhead? It is the trailhead. It is the trailhead. We are almost there. Damn, this is crazy. Are you gonna make it? Oh my god, it's so crazy. I can't believe it. No, but like literally, I'm so proud of us. But like, oh my god, we are about to make it. Oh my god, we are making it. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Okay, okay. How how'd you feel? Uh, you know what? 10 out of 10? 11 out of 10. Honestly, no. it was a very good it was, experience. It was a very good experience, but like, the descent was just... It so was just painful. hell. Like, it was so painful. And it, I still feel the pain. Like, I just want to yeah. sit down. But we have to walk to the bus stop, so... <sighs> Go us. We love life. Yeah. Honestly, it was very worth it, though, I have oh, to say. so worth it. So worth it. I am glad that we came here. Yeah, yeah, especially since like 
We're leaving in two days. And like, yeah, both of us. <laughs> we have a time limit. We, we did it in one day, but, you know, we still did it. And we climbed that fucking mountain. We went to the top and we came back down. So yeah. I am proud of us. Oh, <laughs> my God. <gasps> oh, God. We're going to pass out on the bus but and the train. But if you want to go to Fujisan, I totally recommend. Maybe they plan it better, I guess. Well, plan it better than we did. Because yeah. we really just said, okay, let's just climb the whole thing in one day and come back down. Most people do it in two days. They usually like go a litter in the afternoon and they spend the night yeah. at one of the huts and then they come down um, or go up to see the sunrise and then they come down. We realized that the mountain huts were all booked so we were like, ah, we don't have time. So why as well just do the whole thing in one day, which we did, but it's just like, it was yeah. a lot. It was really a lot. It for an intense workout though. Yeah, it was an, I think we burned like a thousand plus calories at least. I, mean, I, I won't have to run for a yeah. lifetime. I don't We're think just I need, yeah, but, like, no, but like literally, I think I don't need, I need like a run, free running pass for the rest of this week, I swear. I can't. We only have two days. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. Maybe like three days then, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, no, I'm not running like the first two days that I'm back in the Yeah, like there's no way, like my, my body just can't, like it, it, it'll die. Yeah. But yeah. We really did it. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. We're at the Ice. station. It took us so long. And I got we got sunburned too. Yeah. It's kind of it's gonna be painful tomorrow, but you know what? It's worth it, I think. Yeah. Wait, I'm is so it actually pain. painful? Yeah, it peels. It peels? Have you do you know what a sunburn is? Like No. What? Okay. I was kind of stupid when I was a kid. I literally didn't think that like brown people got sunburned. Okay, that's true. Like I feel like it's obviously less common, but but I guess because it was like that high of an elevation, that makes sense. No, because we, we were literally ten plus thousand feet above the ground. So like oh, obviously, yeah. Okay, yeah. Wait, really? Wait, really? I don't want to. Let's just say I got really sunburned, so it's been a long day. But we basically went back to the Shizuoka station, got our bags that we had crap in the locker earlier that day like at 4 a.m and then we made it back to tokyo and now i'm checked back in my hotel and as you can tell like i'm about to pass out but yeah we made it <laughs>